There is so much power in coconut water and egg. A lot of people go through difficult times, not knowing that there are simple things that you can do to get rid of all these difficult times. This particular ritual I'm, I'm going to be discussing with you is how to get abundant grace, open doors, mercy, and breakthrough throughout the year. And my attention was called to this because I've done this some time ago, but my attention was called to it because somebody dug it out and started asking questions on this. Then I realized this is one of the things that get me started and that I give to a lot of people who have made uh, good things from life. So let's get into it. What are the things we are going to be needing for this ritual? We are going to be needing one big coconut, one big coconut. Then two, we are going to be needing a fowl egg. A fowl egg. It might be the local egg. It might be the agric. But I prefer the local egg. But in places where you cannot get the local egg, then you can get the agric egg. Before I continue, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Subscription is free. Make sure you like these videos and our other videos and click on the notification bell so that when next we release videos you'll be the first to be notified what are the spiritual relevance or the spiritual importance of coconut water and egg coconut water the coconut itself symbolizes you can see coconut the shape is like the shape of your head and if you look at the botanical name coconuciferous is from i think greek or latin signifying the shape of the head and if you look at the coconut very well it also has the eyes and the mouth it's just like the shape of the skull and if you are using it in spirituality you are using it to represent human so in yoruba they will say one body or this or that but you are using this to represent your human your spiritual being and the egg if you look at the egg if you throw the egg into something the egg is going to break and if you throw something at the egg the egg is also going to break and if you don't handle the egg very well it's going to break now if you have egg it means you have to undo egg with care with utmost care so if you are using it in spirituality it represents that people will start handling you with care this is very good for uh a love spell for love spell that's why you use egg in love spell but in this ritual that i'm going to be discussing with you it can serve as love spell the ritual can also serve as breakthrough ritual then it can serve as mercy favor and good luck ritual this abundant grace will follow you when you want to do this enough of the story now i've told you the ingredients we are going to be using is coconut and is the water in the coconut that we need then two we are going to be needing egg, fowl egg or a Greek egg. Now, what do you do? The egg, the coconut, once you get the coconut, you have to open the coconut from one of the three eyes. I'm going to be showing you how the three eyes of the coconut looks. So you look for an, a sharp object. You look for a sharp object to pierce it and get the water into a pot. You can use a local pot. Or you can use just any pot get the water that's why you need a big coconut because you are going to be using the water you get the water from the coconut you get it into the pot now the local egg get the local egg you can wash it you might not wash it or the egg just put it in into your pot then set it on fire let it cook you'll be surprised because a lot of people ask you how can you cook 
uh, an egg with just coconut water, just few coconut water. Yes, the water is going to cook it. Don't bother, just put it there, put fire, put it on not very high heat, low heat. If you are using gas, if you are using stove, just lower it, don't let the, uh, the fire be so much, then allow it to cook. Within 10 15 minutes, it's already cooked. Once it cooked, then you do this. Just bring it down. Bring it down. Allow it to cool. Allow it to cool. But there's an instruction in this. Don't boil, don't, don't put the pot on the beer floor. You can put it on a table. You can put it on something. Don't put it on the beer floor. That's the warning. Because once you put it on the floor, then you have uh you, you, you have spoiled the recipe you have invalidated it it will not work again so don't put it on the floor you can put it on the slab you can put it on the table just look for somewhere to put it now allow it to cool once it is cool then peel the shell from the egg peel the shell from the egg put the shell don't throw the shell away just put it somewhere now you are going to be praying into the egg Pray into it that coconut. Nobody knows how water enters the coconut. Nobody should know how my wet will come. Money will be coming to me because nobody can say exactly how water enters coconut. So money should be coming to me from right, left, front, everywhere of the globe. Money should be coming to me. And egg itself, you have to handle egg with the care, with care. Anywhere I get to, let people desire me. Let people favor me. Let people be blessing me. Let man, women, let men, women, uh, old, young, let them be blessing me. From every part of the world, let them be blessing me. After praying, pray very well for goodness, for open doors, for grace, for mercy. Then you eat the egg. But another warning is that this egg, you have to just put it in your mouth once. Don't cut it. Don't share it to anybody. Just put it into your mouth once and eat it. After eating, you can take water, you can take any liquid that you want, but make sure you eat it once. Don't share with anybody. Don't share with anybody. It is as simple as this. And if you can do this, though it's very difficult to do because a lot of people find it difficult to do, but this is an assurance, it's a guarantee. If you do it, if you do it, then you will never lack goodness. You never lack grace. You never lack favor. You never lack money. People will be blessing you. People will be desiring you. Male, female, they will be desiring you. From every quarters of the earth, mercy will be coming to you. Do this. I've done this already. I've given it to others. Do it. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. To show you the efficacy of this and the goodness of it. I'm going to do it again. So I'm imploring you to do it. Because you are in still in february and you are still in the beginning of the month and talking about february this is the month of my birth my birth date is 19 and by 19 i will be going live to give you a spiritual recipe at the same time i'm very open to receive gifts every year people bless me with gifts and i know this year is not going to be an exception i'll be expecting your gift if you want to contact me if you want to bless me go to the description of this novel uh, or, or uh, go to the description of this video you are going to be seeing my contact and in the comment also i'm going to be putting my contact there also go to the comment and drop your comment ask questions and i will want to respond as quickly as possible if you enjoyed this video consider watching this next until i come your way again remain spiritually intelligent and don't forget we can succeed together thanks